What the heck is a brand style guide? And why do I need one for my podcast? Hello, friend. Thanks for pressing play on this episode of the Brassy Broadcast. I'm Jen Eads. I'm a musician, a student of the creative universe, and a curious girl full of questions. I'm also the head broad in charge at the Brassy Broadcasting Company, where I partner with the creators, the doers, and the makers of the world to put them in the ears, heads, and hearts of new audiences with podcasts and other audio goodness. When you're ready and want more in-depth one-to-one coaching on your podcast workflow, audio quality, or help jumping some other podcasting hurdle, click the link in the show notes or go to brassybroad.com forward slash brass tax podcasting toolkit. Until December 31st, 2017, this link will take you to the brass tax podcasting toolkit page where you can schedule a one-hour strategy session with me to learn how to get the most out of everything I've packed into this digital toolkit for the special price of $97. This package contains tools, templates, and tactics to help you build a strong foundation to support your podcast. And I'm here to show you how to put it all together in our one-hour chat. I'll admit it. This is the most self-serving podcast I will post in this 30 Days of Brass Tax Podcasting Wisdom series. As a producer and editor and wearer of many hats in the podcast production cycle, I beg of you, please, please, please create a style guide for your podcast. We often hear about style guides in the realm of how brands communicate. The ones that do it well have rules. What is a brand style guide? There are varying definitions on the interwebs as to what exactly a brand style guide is. For our podcasting purposes, it is a magical document that contains clearly defined guidelines for how your podcast and anything related to your podcast will be presented across all channels. Why do podcasts and other audio content get left out when thinking about style guides? Why isn't as much thought put into the clarity and consistency of messaging around your podcast as it is around your logo, your blog, and any of your sales and marketing collateral? Show your podcast some love. More importantly, show anyone involved at any phase of production your vision, and guidelines. There is so much more to be considered than just your podcast artwork, which at times is an afterthought at best. I'm by no means a branding expert, but I do know a thing or two about producing a podcast. I know how much simpler my life would be if I didn't have to guess on a client's color palette when setting up their Libsyn podcast page, or if I didn't have to guess at their tone of voice when writing their show notes or a short episode description. And don't get me started on fonts. I hate guessing and trying to match fonts. It sucks the life out of me. Okay, enough about why I want you to create this podcast brand style guide. Let's talk about what's in it for you. Clarity. Clarity in your vision. Clarity in your voice. Clarity in every element of your podcast. You will find clarity in doing the work of creating your podcast style guide. I guarantee that you will have multiple instances of things that make you go, hmm, I haven't really thought about that. The gift in clarity is that it leads to consistency Consistency in how you look and sound across all channels. This includes your podcast, YouTube channel, social media channels, blogs, website, email newsletters, emails to guests, everything, everywhere. Clarity and consistency are the foundation of a more efficient workflow. See how this all comes together? 
clarity and consistency become more important as more people become involved in the production of the show. This could be an editor or a virtual admin that creates your social media posts or someone else that's writing your show notes. The more hands involved in the production, the greater the chance of straying from your vision, voice, and style. Unless you have it clearly outlined in a podcast style guide. Here are some things that as a podcast producer, I would love to see included in your podcast style guide. My mother was right. Well, kind of right. She told me to watch my tone. What she really should have been telling me was to be intentional and consistent with my tone. Do you want to tell her? Because I don't. Think about this. What is your tone of voice? Does it ever change? How does it change? When would it change? Why would it change? And beyond that, let's think about color palettes. Hmm, those hex numbers come in super handy. And fonts. List the fonts and where they should be used. You can also create guidelines for potential guests. Who is your ideal guest? And guidelines for potential sponsors. Maybe you aren't even thinking about sponsorship yet, but be prepared. Have your ideal in mind. What would that look like? What would that sound like? And then there's also podcast cover art, individual episode artwork, social media templates. If you're using audiograms to promote your show, how long should they be? Are you using the episode artwork or are you using your regular podcast cover art? Is the audio in the audiogram from you or your guest or both? Is the audiogram a random quote, or are you introducing the show? What is the call to action that goes in the audiogram? Has it been created already? Then there are guidelines for music and sound effects. Maybe there's topics that will and won't be covered on the show. What words will not be uttered? Is your show always clean? How do you handle a guest with a potty mouth? Do you tell them to watch it up front? Or do you fix it in post-production and add beeps every time they use questionable language? That's good information for your editor to have. And let's look at the element of show notes. There are so many ways to go with them. How do you want them formatted? Bullet points? Paragraphs? How detailed do they need to be? Do you want them time-stamped? Do you need a full transcript? Take an afternoon and get clear on all of these questions. Then put it on a Google Doc or some other doc that's easily accessible and share it with all who need to be in the know. And if you're the only one that needs to be in the know, then that's cool. You will be more consistent and efficient moving forward because you no longer have to make decisions. Refer back to your magical podcast style guide. It's a living document. You can change elements when there is good reason. Not remembering the font you used last time does not qualify as a good reason. I will admit to you, because we're friends, that I have not yet done this. I don't have this all listed and outlined. I have no excuse. My goal is to have this done by the end of 2017. Will you help hold me accountable? Tweet me at Brassy Broad Jen to check my progress. If you found even the smallest little nugget of wisdom in this episode, share it with a friend that needs to hear it. Don't bogart the podcasting wisdom. Spread the podcast love. Instagram is my jam. You can connect with me there to get all the behind the scenes of my podcasting and musical worlds. They all collide. There are also lots of pictures of the dog and cat that run this studio. And for my podcasting tutorials, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can even listen to the podcast there. You'll find me on YouTube at Jen Eads, E-D-D-S, Brassy. Thanks for listening. Now get out in the world and do some good 